YouTube and welcome to Whaley's Kitchen. This idea came to me when I was thinking of DIY videos for Mother's Day and I realized that my mom pretty much has everything and I don't even know what to make her. So I thought cooking for your mom would honestly be the best idea because if you think about it, your mom cooked meals for you every single day of your life ever since you were a child and nothing will make her happier than to see that you can cook her a meal for once. I don't know about your mom but my mom gets really happy when I cook for her so I thought this would be a great idea for Mother's Day. And because I think that gifts are never about the value, it's more about the thoughts. So whether you can cook or not, I still think that this will be a good idea. So that's why I came up with this series called Cook for Mom which makes Basically, I'm going to be showing you guys recipes all the way up until Mother's Day, so that means I'll be posting a video every day for the next seven days. So if you guys like this idea and you want to see me post every day for the rest of this week, give this video a thumbs up. My way of knowing that you guys like this idea is to give me thumbs up. So if I can get this video to 10,000 likes, I will be doing this for sure. Um, so yeah, give me a thumbs up if you like it. So right now, let's give you guys a little outfit of the day. The necklace I'm wearing is from Bobble Bar. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. They're super popular and they've been in a lot of magazines lately. They just have super affordable jewelry. It starts from like $10 and up. So very affordable jewelry for very good quality jewelry. I just thought that maybe if your mom is the jewelry type of mom, I just thought it would be a good idea to get her maybe like a necklace, a bracelet, a ring or something to go along with the dinner. They get new products every day and they offer free returns plus you can customize the jewelry so you can make something very special for your mother. Which I thought was really cool and my friends over at Bobble Bar actually decided to give you guys a 20% off discount for your first purchase. All you have to do is go to bobblebar.com slash Whaley and when you're checking out just use my coupon code Whaley in all caps and you will get 20% off your first purchase. So I hope you find something you like or that your mom will like and let's get to cooking. Next thing that's really important, you want to dry your rice pot because girl, you are trying to make your mom dinner not trying to break her rice cooker and if you don't dry this and you put it in here, it might break the machine. So dry it off. After you dry it off, you just pop it into this magic pot and voila! Make sure you hit the button. for the fishy fishy. What you're gonna do is take the Reynolds wrap and wrap this tray because we're gonna bake the salmon. So now I'm just gonna take the salmon out of the packet and give it a little wash so it's clean. If you can, I would recommend that you get fresh salmon just because I didn't have time, I had to get the frozen salmon. But as you can tell, the color is not that great but this will do for now. After you wash it, make sure you dry it. You just pat it like your oily face. Pat, pat, pat. By the way, I forgot to say, but before you lay the fish down, give it a little thin layer of Pam. This just prevents it from sticking when you're baking the fish. Marinating is probably the most simple part of cooking. All you do is just use all your ingredients, sprinkle it on the fish, pat it in, and bake it. So I'm just starting off with garlic salt. My favorite, seasonal. And because I love garlic, I'm gonna sprinkle some garlic powder. Little bit of lemon pepper. This one's totally optional, but if you want a little bit of black pepper, you can just sprinkle some on. So now, to add a hint of lemon, I'm just gonna cut this lemon in half, not really in half, but like a third of it, and I'm just gonna squeeze the juice of this lemon onto the salmon. And just to garnish it and make it look all pretty, I'm just gonna cut two slices of lemon, 
to place it on top of the salmon. Now the oven is ready, time to pop in the fish. This part I think is so important because I love butter on salmon. So before you bake it, just scoop a little bit of butter and place it on top of each fish and bake it. Ready for the oven. And I'm just gonna set 20 minutes. mushroom since the fish is done and I'm just gonna let it sit in the oven for just a little bit. First I'm gonna use some oil, drizzle that over the pan, take your shallots and cook them for a little bit. Now I'm just gonna add in my mushrooms. You don't have to flavor your mushrooms if you like the taste of mushrooms by itself but I just like to add a little bit of soy sauce and salt. Just keep stirring, just keep stirring, keep on stirring. What do you do, you keep on stirring? At this point, your mushrooms are ready, and as you can see, it's pretty watery. I don't really like it when it's watery, you can leave it. But my way of thickening up the sauce is using a little bit of cornstarch, mix it with water, stir it up in a bowl, and just slowly add it in. So you add a little bit at a time, keep stirring until your desired thickness. Okay, so now you have a nice, thick, creamy sauce. Now I'm gonna make a nice, pretty bed for my salmon to sleep on. You can cook your spinach, but I like to have it raw, so I'm just gonna lay it out like this. Time to get my salmon. Squeeze a little bit of lemon over it. In case you guys are wondering how they make the perfect round scoop of rice at restaurants, what they do, they put it inside a small bowl like this, squish it nice and tight so it doesn't fall apart, and then, ba bam Okay, that wasn't that perfect, but you know what I mean. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to check the down bar for coupon codes if you guys are interested in getting your mama some jewelry. And I hope you guys enjoy the simple recipe I made. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys like this recipe or if you want to see me do more cooking videos for Mother's Day. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! <laughs> like the cooking shows. All right guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe that I made today. It's very easy to do. <laughs> Just kidding. Give, it, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and if you would like me to go on with this. <sighs> Damn, Instagram is serious. <laughs> I try to make my Instagram look nice. This is like,